ETAP has the facility to draw a complex network. In case of a complex electrical power network, uh, we can create uh, the complex network by using uh, composite network here. So this is for composite network and another one is for AC composite motor. Suppose uh, in a big project there will be so many numbers of buses, so many motors and transformers, so many power sources and power distribution. So in that case to simplify the one line diagram we we can take help for this composite network. How can we draw? This is the composite network symbol just drag and drop here. So this is composite network then click uh, right click here uh, symbol you can change the symbol also suppose this one okay so and these are the pins number of pins you can connect suppose I want to connect with this bus another one from this bus so you can choose the color and can rotate okay now double click here so one is connected with bus 2 another one is connected with uh, bus 13 both are 11 kV system so we want to add uh, so many numbers of loads in this network so just double click here as you can see just uh, press space like this you can you can move this screen okay this bigger size okay here you can uh, draw your further further uh, network as per the project requirement In a complex electrical power network, we need to draw so many, so many uh, loads, transformers, power sources. So for this complicated network, we need to uh, take help for, for, uh, from this composite network. So this is the composite network symbol and this one is AC composite motors. Suppose in a bus, you have so many numbers of motors connected. Uh, with this bus or this one or this one so you can use this AC composite motor network so firstly we will see this composite network just uh, drag and drop here right click you can change the color or symbol or you can rotate here let's say we want to just this symbol like this and we want to further uh, we want to further uh, you know uh, step down the voltage from 11 kb uh, to suppose 415 volt or 400 volt so for the further uh, single line diagram uh, if you want to draw as per project specification project requirement okay then firstly let's connect this with these two buses and this is now created so just double click here yeah so one one uh, connection is with bus 2 and another connection with bus 13 so from from here you can draw you can draw a uh, further step down network suppose one uh, step down transformer uh, 11 kV um, uh, by 4, 4 15 volt transformer then 415 volt bus like this you can draw so uh, this is for the AC network and 
uh, this is for AC composite motors one thing you can uh, you can do also suppose for uh, AC motors select right click cut okay now AC composite motor drag and drop here connect with this bus You can change the symbols also. Okay, just double click here. You see now it is coming. So what what uh, you will have to do now? Uh, this is the dumpster system dumpster. So from dumpster we can we can call uh, here. Just right click and move move from dumpster. So now this came so all three motors which I removed cut from there it already came so suppose this is bus 13 now we can connect okay so why it is moving because you have to ungroup right click ungroup check this box now it is ungroup now individual individual motor you can move okay just uh, place the space bar space key uh, from your keyboard and navigate the screen okay so this is this is uh, one example for composite motor network so all the all the motors connected with this with this bus 13 now it is included here within this network so uh, you can you can draw any number of uh, any number of composite network within a complex uh, electrical system it has that uh, that provision and like AC composite network uh, you can find out the DC composite network as well so here is the DC composite network and this one is DC composite motor in the similar way suppose there are some DC components over here so uh, uh, so you can combine all all the DC components and you can use this DC component uh, this DC composite network and uh, if there are so, so many numbers of DC motors are there so you can use this DC composite motor